Hello, I'm Miss Karen from the Dorsch Branch of the Monroe County Library System. And this week on our summer reading, we're going to talk about horses. So our program's called Saddle Up and Read. And I'm gonna go through and let you know what we're gonna be doing for the week. So on, on today, on Monday, I'm gonna share a craft with you. And then we're going to um, talk about the life of a horse. On Tuesday, I'm gonna do another craft and we're gonna show you a horse in, in action. We're gonna have um, him um, go outside and trot and different things. On Wednesday, um, Miss Liz, I'm sorry, Miss Lori is going to do um, some chapter book talk about horses. And she's also gonna share with you a sugar stem activity. On Thursday, Miss Liz is going to do um, picture book talk and she's gonna also do a craft with you. On Friday, Miss Michelle is going to do some cooking in the kitchen with you and um, then she's gonna show you how to draw a horse. So on Monday, we'll have a bag for you at all the branches. Um, that I'm just gonna go over what will be in there. So we're gonna have some activities in here for you. We have some um, spot the differences. We have um, a word search and we have find the hidden pictures. So a lot of different activities that we have in here for you to do. We will also have the supplies for the craft, crafts and also the instructions for it. Um, I also will include in there, we have a little booklet about horses. So it's um, a common horse terms. We have different parts of the horse. We have um, different breeds and the, the height of the horses would be. And we also have a couple other things, what horses can and cannot eat that's also in there. So that will be a little packet that you will have in there. So today's craft that we're gonna, I'm gonna show you is actually a a horse bookmark and so we'll have everything all the supplies in there for you and you're going to have a little template that you can draw on your phone i already have that drawn on there and so you're going to just take this template and you're going to fold it half and you're just going to cut out the horse's shape and this way both sides of the of the horses um, are match if you do it double it up so, all right, so now we have our horse and we're gonna take this part, which this is going to be the mane. And, and what we're gonna do is this, we're gonna take it and we're just gonna make little cuts, uh, not all the way through, just a little, to make it look like the, the hair on the, the horse. So we just have that right there. So we have our craft stick. And now we're just going to glue everything together. And on this one, we're just going to glue on the edge and put it on there. So that stays on there. So we're gonna put that on. and then finish up all the glue so we could put the other side on. There you go. And now we're just got some eyes. We'll put the eyes on there. And if you would like, if you have a marker, you can go ahead and put a little mouth on there for him. There you go. There's your horse. So on the part about for the horses, um, I'm gonna introduce you to Jess Kruger. She, um, she's the owner of the Bay Creek Farms and she's been around horses all her life and her husband's been around her horse, well, Found horses all his life. And so um, I'm gonna let her take it away and explain everything about horses. Great, thanks Karen. Hi, I'm Jessica, like Miss Karen introduced me so kindly. I'm the owner and lead recreational therapist at Bay Creek Farm. So like Miss Karen said, we're gonna be talking a lot about horses today. This guy over here trying to get the food in my hand is Phoenix. He's one of the two therapy horses we have on the farm. So Phoenix, has been mine for a really long time and he's seen a lot of stuff, so he'll be a really good boy today. They did get rained on, so he's extra dirty. You can see all his dirt on him. We'll show you how to clean him up in just a little bit, but I want to introduce both of them to you. 
So Phoenix is 18 years old. He's a paint horse and he's 15 three hands. We'll talk about what hands means. That's his height. Hi, buddy. You want kisses? Aw, so sweet. Um, he's one of the main ones that we use for adults or for riding in our therapy program. And then we have his little buddy over here, Miss Daisy. Daisy's a miniature horse. She's not a baby. She's not a pony. She's a miniature horse. Uh, they're different breeds, kind of like a Great Dane and Chihuahua are different breeds of dogs. So they're both horses, just different breeds. She is 16 years old. So she's just a couple years younger than Phoenix. And we use Daisy in our therapy programs to do lots of like fine motor skills. We do some riding with our, our younger kiddos. Um, we do a whole lot with her because she's a really fun size and we can fit her in more places than Phoenix can fit. So um, we'll get Phoenix out and we'll show you how to groom him up and give you a glimpse into the life of a, of a horse. All right, we're back with Phoenix. So this is one of our groom stalls in the barn. And we put him in these ties. We call them cross ties because they go all the way across the aisle and keep him in place nicely. You know the drill, huh, buddy? So we've got his halter. This is the thing that goes on his head and his lead rope that helps him get around. Take that off so he doesn't step on it. So as I mentioned, it rained this morning and he got really, really dirty. All this mud, he loves rolling. When horses roll on their backs in the pasture, that's a way that they like align their spines. It feels really good to get all that dirt, but then it creates a lot of work for us. So we get some different brushes. Hi, you like the smell of that? Uh, we start with a big curry brush. There's big knobby ends on it and we just do big circles. Oh, he loves that. Does that feel good? Yeah, big circles and this loosens up all of that dirt. You see all this hair falling off. They shed in the spring. So he's got a lot of hair still coming off. We're almost done with the shedding, but it's quite a process. If you know anyone with horses, you know they take a lot of work and a lot of time. If they're not like a cat or a dog. They require attention every day and they're kind of finicky with their health. It's a lot of knowledge. So we're just gonna give you some basics today. So loosen up all this dirt with our curry comb here. Once that's nice and loose, we can go through, this is a soft brush. It's just really soft bristles. And we go in the direction of the hair. Look at that, there's that clean boy. Kind of goes in gently, cleans all of this up. And as he gets cleaner, you'll notice that I'm gonna get a lot dirtier. That's kind of part of the job. I'm only 5'4". I'm lucky, I'm just tall enough to get over the top of him here, but when you see my daughter in our next video when we ride, she needs a little mounting block or a step stool to get up. Cool, so we got the most of all that dirt off when we're grooming them. To help get some of that hair out when they shed from the winter, we use one of these. This is a nice cheap way to get some of that extra hair out. This is actually a grow block cleaner. You can find them at Lowe's for like four bucks. They work really well on your dogs too. And this just goes over and pulls out any of that dirt left behind and pulls out some of that extra hair. It leaves them really shiny. Get them ready for show season. Get them looking all handsome. Good boy. Horses are really social animals. They love it when you talk to them and tell them how good they're being, how pretty they are. So if you're ever on horses and you're nervous, I hear a lot of stories about how people really don't know much about horses or they're kind of scared to be around them. You can just talk to them. They're very emotionally intelligent so they can feel what emotion that you're feeling. They know what you're going through. They like to understand and help you through that. So you can always just talk to them. It's not a silly thing. They don't know 
exactly what words you're saying, but they do know how you're feeling, right? So that is a little basic grooming. He looks much better than when we brought him out. The reason why we groom is so that they don't get matted or icky and gross. If we were to ride Phoenix, we would put a saddle pad on and you don't want all that stuff underneath of him. That would really irritate his back. So we make sure he's nice and clean. Another really important part of taking care of your horse is to clean their hooves out. Um, we will turn them around and we can show you what the inside of a hoof looks like. Miss Karen has a little printout for you too. So grab that printout of the hoof and we'll take a look here. All right, we turn them around for you. Next part is the hoof. So grab that handout for Miss Karen. He's gonna pick this up nicely for us and show us what his hoof looks like. So you'll notice uh, that he's got some sawdust in here. There's probably some poop and grass from outside. All kind of stuff gets in here. What we're checking for is stones. We don't want any stones or any nasty stuff in here. So we take our hoof pick and we go in this V. It's called the frog. Go in and clean all this out gently because some of these parts are pretty squishy. You want to be gentle. Outside, his white lines are pretty soft, which is the part out here. So we always check those for little stones. And we like to do this before and after we ride. If you leave nasty stuff in there, they can develop thrush or other conditions. So we like to clean these out, make sure they're nice and good before we get going. Good. All right, so we've got Phoenix cleaned up. We're gonna get Daisy out to um, show you some more things between the two of them putting her halter on so we're nice and safe. You'll hear me use little noises like those are how we communicate to the horse. So those things mean different things to them. Usually it just means move or follow me. We've got a second set of cross ties here for her and she's little. So we're going to make some extra long so she fits. Oh, no, you stay here. And I'm teasing them with the food in the middle here. Cool. So here's Miss Daisy. We talked about her a little bit earlier. And like I said, she's a miniature horse. So she stands about 38 inches tall. Um, like I said, she's not a baby. She's not a pony. This is like her full grown height. They're meant to be this little. I see you. Hi. She wants extra attention. So, uh, Karen also has a little sheet in there for you talking about the different like genders of a horse. So Daisy is a mare. That means she's a girl. Hi, sweet. And Phoenix is a gelding. So that means he's a boy. Uh, let's see. They're both looking at me. They're ready for this part. Let's talk a little bit about what horses eat. So I've got a hay bale here. This is first cutting hay. Hay is similar to grass, but it's not just like the grass that you have in your front yard. So there's different strains of hay that you actually grow. This is mostly grassy hay, but there is some alfalfa in that. Phoenix doesn't have any dietary restrictions. He can eat just about anything, but Daisy, since she's a miniature horse, we have to really watch her weight because there can be a lot of consequences. If she gets too heavy, um, they can founder, they can have all kinds of issues. So we have to be really, really careful with her. And I know, so you say dainty and beautiful, huh, Miss Girl? Horses do love special treats. So they get their hay morning and night. They get grass when they're outside. Phoenix gets grain. So there's a few different kinds of things we look for in a grain. Um, this has pretty low sugars and starch because we don't want them to get too hot. And then we also add a diet balancer in for them. So it's lots of like minerals and vitamins, kind of like we would take a multivitamin. So we give that to them. And if you look at his lips, they use them kind of like fingers to pick up all these little foods. I know you want the carrot, huh? Carrots are a really healthy treat for horses. There you go, buddy. They love them. There's really not a whole lot of consequence of carrots. They can have lots of these. Another healthy option for horses is apples. We don't give these quite as often just because they are kind of high in sugars, but they love these too. You're taking too much, buddy. There we go. Bite off a little piece for you. And on a really special occasion, uh, they do like 
corn chips, so like Fritos. Phoenix loves Fritos. You ever come out to the barn, bring him some carrots and Fritos, and he will be more than happy. Look at those lips work, huh? Is that a good apple? Yeah. We make sure to feed them at the end of our sessions so that they're not getting, like a dog will beg. Uh, we make sure that we feed them towards the end so that they are focused while we're trying to work. He's telling me here that he took way too big of a bite. You're not giving it back, are you? He's just gonna work on it. Okay. So that's Daisy and Phoenix. Like I said, they are both therapy animals here at the farm. They help lots and lots of kiddos gain different strengths, gain independence, gain different, gain different functions. Um, yeah. <laughs> you want the rest of that, bud? They're super gentle and friendly. They've been doing this a long time, and so have I. So. Um, check out our website if you'd like to see more about our therapy programs. It's baycreekfarmtherapy.com. We've got a Facebook page and Instagram also. And I want to thank Miss Karen and the Monroe County Library System for having us out today. So excited to work with them. All right. You guys have a good one.